Guys, it is almost here. My book, Cocktail Chemistry, launches on May 17th, and it's not too late to enter the pre-order sweepstakes. I'll put a link in the description. All those who have pre-ordered will have a chance to win some awesome prizes, like this flavor blaster for making smoke bubbles. And today, we're gonna make an iconic cocktail that is featured in the book, the Espresso Martini. But instead of the boring, traditional way of making the espresso martini, we're gonna mix things up with three amazing variations, including a sweet, a sour, and a bitter Amaro version. Something for everyone. And really, the only coffee liqueur I've been using for the past year is this Mr. Black. It's really a wonderful product, and I am super excited that they're actually sponsoring this video. I'll talk a bit more about this product later, but let's kick it off with our sweet version of the espresso martini. Grab a shaker glass, and for each of these versions, we're gonna be ditching the boring old vodka with something more interesting. In this case, we're gonna use a rye whiskey, one and a half ounces or 45 mils. Next, grab your Mr. Black, and we're gonna add one half ounce or 15 mils. Next, you're gonna wanna choose a sweet liqueur that's gonna pair really well with coffee. I would suggest something like a creme de cacao or the Spanish liqueur quarante tres, which has strong vanilla notes. I'm going chocolate here, so one half ounce or 15 mils of the creme de cacao. Now for the signature ingredient, a fresh pole of espresso. Now last time I made the espresso martini, I got a lot of questions about my setup. I start by weighing out 20 grams of a light roast and grinding it in my niche zero grinder. This grinder is super high quality and it's great for single serves. After that's nicely ground, I dump that into the portafilter, shake it around a little bit to get all the grinds out. It actually comes out fairly evenly distributed and not too clumpy, so from here I just tamp it down tight. Now we're just gonna pull the espresso shot and I actually weigh the output as well because we're shooting for a two to one ratio of output to input. So I weigh 20 grams in and I'm trying to get about 40 grams of espresso coming out. It should take about 25 to 30 seconds to get to that 40 gram output. So you can change the grind size and a few other variables to make sure you uh, dial it in. By the way, this machine is the Profitec Pro 500 and so far it's been great for me. And uh, if you pull it nice, you'll see that nice crema on top. That's what you're shooting for. That's gonna help you get the nice foam on the espresso martini. I've measured out one full shot, one and a half ounces or 45 mils of our espresso. And now we're gonna add ice and shake pretty aggressively for about 15 seconds to whip a lot of air in there, chill and dilute it. Then we're gonna double strain into a chilled coupe glass. Make sure you get all that foam coming out of there. And if you want, you can garnish on top with a few espresso beans. It's a pretty easy way to class it up, but let's give it a taste. Our sweet version of the espresso martini with whiskey and oh yeah. First off, I don't think I'm ever going back to vodka again. These darker spirits just add a lot more character to the drink and that creme de cacao comes through really nice. It's not overpowering but you get that nice finish of chocolate on the palate that of course pairs so well with coffee. This one's a winner and you could swap the spec out for any other sweet liqueur that you wanna try. And now onto our sour version. And at first this sounded kinda of weird to me, but in fact, lemon and coffee pair really well together. So let's see if we can make this work. We're gonna start with one half ounce or 15 mils of fresh lemon juice, another one half ounce or 15 mils of coffee liqueur. And instead of whiskey, I'm gonna mix this one up with a little funky Jamaican pot still rum. Now to balance out all this acidity, you could use some simple syrup in this case, but I'm actually gonna use this homemade cream of coconut. You could use Coco Lopez if you wanna buy it, but it's super easy to make at home. Just take the standard 400 milliliter can of coconut milk, full fat, and mix that with 375 grams of sugar, which is about one and three fourths cup. Combine in a saucepan on low heat till the sugar dissolves. So here we're adding one ounce or 30 mils into our shaker glass, and then combine that with one ounce or 30 mils of fresh espresso. Again, we're gonna add ice to the shaker tin and shake for about 15 seconds to chill, dilute, and whip some air into this thing. Double strain into a chilled rocks glass with a few cubes and you should still see a nice foam on top. All right, is this any good? An espresso martini with lemon juice? Okay, that is super interesting and really, really good. You get hit with some acidity right up front with that light roast espresso and lemon juice. And that coconut syrup comes in to balance it out and paired with that funky rum, it's got a bit of a pina colada note to it. This is delightful. All right, if you have a dark, bitter soul, the kind of person who drinks their coffee black, this version might be for you. Instead of a sweetener, we're using an Amaro. I've chosen Averna here, which is gonna pair well with coffee, I think. We're gonna add three fourths of an ounce or 22 mils to the shaker tin, followed by one half ounce or 15 mils of coffee liqueur. For our spirit, this time we're mixing it up and using cognac. 
gonna add one and a half ounces or 45 mils. And of course, another one and a half ounces or 45 mils of a fresh pull of espresso. By now you know the drill, shake with ice for about 15 seconds, then double strain into a chilled coupe glass. All right, our third and final espresso martini variation, the Amaro version. Ooh, okay. Normally I've got a bit of a sweet tooth, but this is really nice. The Averna has some cola and vanilla notes, which are really nice with the coffee. But this drink is much more on the dry side, and honestly, it works. Today's cocktails were made possible by one of my favorite sponsors, Mr. Black Coffee Liqueur. There are several reasons why I love these guys. First, they are both coffee roasters and distillers, and they make their juice from top grade coffee, 100% Arabica coffee beans. It's also vodka based, which really lets the coffee shine through, but why should you care? I mean, ultimately it's because it tastes incredible. There are no artificial ingredients, and I honestly just find myself drinking it straight or maybe on the rocks. I mean. The aroma is fantastic, and it's less sweet than other coffee liqueurs, which makes it great in cocktails. And it's not just me who loves this stuff. I mean, there's a reason you see it in the world's best bars and restaurants, like Dante, the Nomad Hotel, and the Savoy in London. If you want to see more recipes, go check out their YouTube channel. They just launched it. It's dope. And go to their shop, mrblack.co, and use my code COCKTAILCHEM10 to get 10% off your order.